Celebrate Commencement 2021. Welcome graduates, families, and friends. The program will begin shortly. Photos of smiling GW graduates scroll by in a yearbook-style display in rows of 10. Some graduates are wearing traditional commencement caps and gowns. Others are seen in GW clothing, formal wear, military attire, and sports jerseys. Some photos include pets or children. Many include scenes of DC or the GW campus in the background. The graduate photos continue to scroll by in rows of ten. Commencement by the numbers, 27,027 students, 320 first-generation college graduates, 50 U.S. states represented by the entire class of 2021. The class also includes students from Washington, D.C., Guam, Puerto Rico, and the Virgin Islands, 56 countries represented by the undergraduate class of 2021. Welcome graduates, families, and friends. The program will begin shortly. The graduate photos continue to scroll by in rows of 10. Commencement by the numbers. 100 countries are represented by the entire class of 2021, including international graduate and undergraduate students. The youngest graduate is 16 years old. 10 schools without walls high school students are earning associate's degrees from the Columbian College of Arts and Sciences. The youngest bachelor's degree recipient is 19 years old. 
The oldest graduate is 74 years young. Welcome graduates, families, and friends. The program will begin shortly. The graduate photos continue to scroll by in rows of ten. Commencement by the numbers, 27,027 students, 320 first-generation college graduates, 50 U.S. states represented by the entire class of 2021. The class also includes students from Washington, D.C., Guam, Puerto Rico, and the Virgin Islands, 56 countries represented by the undergraduate class of 2021. Welcome graduates, families, and friends. The program will begin shortly. The graduate photos continue to scroll by in rows of 10.
Transmit by the numbers. 100 countries are represented by the entire class of 2021, including international graduate and undergraduate students. The youngest graduate is 16 years old. 10 schools without walls high school students are earning associate's degrees from the Columbian College of Arts and Sciences. The youngest bachelor's degree recipient is 19 years old. The oldest graduate is 74 years young. Welcome graduates, families, and friends. The program will begin shortly. The graduate photos continue to scroll by in rows of 10. A camera atop Gelman Library pans from a blue sky, and District House and the Marvin Center come into view. Inside a student's room, we see 2021 balloons, GW memorabilia, and photos of mascot George with friends. George is asleep, and a GW Bicentennial flag hangs above him. He's awakened by his alarm, sits up, throws off his covers, stretches, and hops out of bed. George walks over to his closet. He circles May 16th on his calendar with a happy face and slides the closet door open. He pulls out his graduation cap and gown and puts them on. George is ready. He is dressed in his cap and gown and has his mask hanging over one ear. He walks into the living room that has a congrats grad 2021 sign over the couch, sits down, and opens his laptop computer. He takes a sip of water from his GW water bottle and types on his computer. A young man wearing a mask knocks on George's door. George is excited. He puts on his mask and does a happy dance as the young man and a young woman enter the room. George bumps elbows with them to say hello, and they sit down in separate chairs. George gets up, comes back with a bag of popcorn, which he spills all over as he tries to pour it into a bowl. George's friends laugh and pump their arms with excitement. They are ready for the ceremony. George and his friends look at the laptop screen, which shows a commencement celebration 2021 starting screen graphic. Then the screen fades to black. Welcome to GW's virtual commencement celebration 2021. Staff and faculty members welcome the class. Class of 2021, welcome. Welcome, class of 2021. We are so proud of you. Class of 2021, welcome. Today, we're celebrating you. Class of 2021, welcome. We are so proud of you. Welcome and congratulations to the class of 2021. Class of 2021, welcome. Welcome, class of 2021. Welcome to your commencement. Welcome to your commencement, class of 2021. Class of 2021, welcome to your commencement. Class of 2021, congratulations. Your day is finally here. It has been a trying year for sure, but you made it. And this is it. You made it to your commencement during one of the most difficult and disruptive two years in modern US history. Class of 2021, Welcome to commencement. Welcome class of 2021. We're so proud of you and honored that we can celebrate this moment together. Welcome to GW's bicentennial year commencement. Class of 2021, welcome. Welcome class of 2021. We are especially proud of each and every one of the members of the class of 2021. Provost Blake speaks at a lectern in front of a backdrop showing Kogan Plaza. A very warm welcome to all of our class of 2021 graduates and their families and loved ones. It's been said 
that life is a series of choices and all we can do is make them. Today, we celebrate an incredible achievement that first took root when you made the excellent choice to accept an offer of a mission to GW. When you decided on GW, you chose an education unlike any other in the world. You chose to be a member of a diverse and vibrant community of scholars populated by students, faculty and staff contributing unique perspectives and experience that often were unlike your own. You chose to dive into your education head first, asking hard questions, starting important conversations, and exceeding your own wildest expectations of yourself. You chose an education that challenged your view of the world, changed your way of thinking, and gave you the knowledge and skills to make the change you want to see advance our society. Tomorrow, you will greet the world as an inquisitive scholar, a lifelong learner, and a helping hand for communities that will benefit from the expertise you cultivated at GW. New choices will await you. Today, you'll celebrate all you've achieved alongside your colleagues and loved ones who supported you and helped make this moment possible. I'm thrilled and honored to welcome the George Washington University's class of 2021 to your convincement. And now, please join me in welcoming George Washington University's 17th president, Thomas LeBlanc. M. Brian Blake exits the stage. GW President Thomas J. LeBlanc enters the stage and speaks at a lectern. Hello, GW graduates. I'm delighted to join our community today to celebrate your achievements. There's no greater pride or joy as president of this university than to see our students discover their passions, learn, and grow. Especially through times of change and challenge, your development and your collective contributions to our world shine as great forces for good. Thanks to you and all our graduates, GW has been a force for good for 200 incredible years, a historic milestone that few universities accomplish and one that even fewer graduating students are directly a part of. Our long history is a testament to the strength of our community. And today, this history continues thanks to the strength of each of you. While today is the end of one chapter, it is just the beginning of the next. It is just the beginning of the many years that you will spend creating a better world driven by the pursuit of knowledge, the quest for innovation, and your own ideals and desire to serve others. Today is a day to celebrate all of this, to celebrate you. It also is a day to thank your families and loved ones and all those in our GW community and beyond who have supported you on this journey. And it is a time after many years of your hard work, persistence and resilience to celebrate how your experiences at GW have changed you and how your leadership has changed GW and your communities for the better and will continue to do so for generations to come. Class of 2021, it is my honor to welcome you to your George Washington University Bicentennial Year Commencement. And now, a look back at your GW journey. Visual display of the GW student experience, including shots of Washington, D.C. and campus. We started our college experience full of excitement, hope, nerves, and exhilaration. A new path stretched out before us, unfurling around the circular roadways, monuments, and history of the DC streets. What new experiences would define who we were meant to become? What potential would we unearth in ourselves that we didn't yet know how to tap into until we arrived here? at this storied institution that would inspire, enlighten, and challenge us. There is no other option because there is no other planet. There is no other humanity. Along the way, we had new adventures with strangers who morphed quickly into soulmates. We witnessed events that forever shifted the world around us. Leaving indelible marks on our memories, our souls, and our hearts. 
These years of experiences at GW have shaped us forever, forcing us to forge our own unique paths forward, propelled by our friendships, by our community, and by our city. At times, these moments revealed more of who we truly are than we ever could have anticipated. As the World Health Organization has declared the coronavirus outbreak a pandemic. More than 200 colleges and universities are canceling in-person classes. Declaring both a state of emergency and a public health emergency in Washington, D.C. We learned what the words hero, perseverance, and courage truly meant. We've found strength inside ourselves and each other. Not through hugs and handshakes, but through a collective identity of struggle, compassion, and understanding. Our journey here may not be ending the way we would have hoped or imagined, but our story is just beginning. Forever defined by our memories, not just of the last year, but over all our years here at GW. All of our struggles, our wins, our unsung triumphs. Together as a community, together as the class of 2021, at the precipice of this moment in history and in our lives. While I may be the first woman in this office, I will not be the last. We go forward, knowing that our shared experiences and our resiliency will forever inform the people we will become, the leaders we aspire to be, and the nation we are determined to transform. Class of 2021, we are the next great generation. And now, a welcome into GW's lifelong and worldwide alumni community. Grace Spates and other alumni. Congratulations, graduates. As chair of the Board of Trustees and as a proud GW alumni, it is my honor to join you in celebrating your achievements on this momentous occasion. Like you, my time at GW was a formative part of my life. As a student at GW Law, I built meaningful and lasting relationships. The faculty and staff helped encourage my interests and identify opportunities where I could have a positive impact on our world. My classmates and I formed lifelong friendships that have remained strong to this day. And the alumni who came before me served as inspirations for what I could achieve. Today, as you reflect on your time at GW, I hope that you too are recalling similar experiences that have prepared you to succeed and to lead. The world is changing rapidly and we need leaders to help guide us to a better future. You are those leaders. It is a great responsibility, but you are not alone. You have the support of your mentors, your friends, your families, and of course, the George Washington University Alumni Association that you join today. On behalf of the board and your fellow alumni, I wish you every personal and professional success in your next journey. I am certain that we will see great things from you. Congratulations. Congratulations, class of 2021. I'm proud that you are now alumni and I wish you all the best going forward. You've demonstrated tremendous resilience in the last year, and this bodes well for the future. Good luck and enjoy. Always stay true to yourself, no matter what, and make sure to do a lot of networking. I recommend Lunch Club, which has been really helpful for me to meet new people and network. Hold on to those awesome friendships that you've built and relationships that you've created throughout the years. And take this amazing GW education and apply it to a space or profession that you are most passionate about. 
Keep in touch with your GW friends, classmates, and professors. The friendship you had at the GW will be with you for a lifetime. Listen to your heart. If you stay true to yourself and block out the noise of everybody around you, that is the one thing that will totally get you. Congratulations, class of 2021. I know no one likes an opinion from a news person, but I do have two pieces of advice. First, don't believe everything you read on the internet. And second, if you agree with everything that you see and hear wherever you get your news, you're doing it wrong. Raise high. I would say this, don't be afraid to fail. So many of us now coming out of college think, how can I get success? How can I you know, get that next brass ring? But I have to tell you, everything I ever tried in my life, in business or in politics, I failed in first. And in many ways, that willingness to take risks came from my education at GW. Hello to GW's class of 2021. As a proud graduate of the George Washington University Law School and the president of the GW Alumni Association, I am thrilled to welcome you to the Alumni Association, where you join a community of more than 300,000 alumni from 150 countries around the world. This is a day of mixed emotions. I know, I remember it well. You're feeling incredibly proud of the accomplishments that you've made. You're feeling a little sad about leaving GW. You're maybe even feeling apprehensive about your future in this fast changing world. But what has changed if not an incredible opportunity? And what institution could have better prepared you for this moment than GW? At GW, you walked a path of constant discovery and innovation alongside colleagues from all around the world. You didn't have all the answers in your time at GW, and I'm gonna let you in on a little secret. You don't, you don't have all the answers now, and you won't when you leave. But GW has prepared you with the skills to seize the uncertainty of change and make your future exactly what you want it to be. The Alumni Association will be there for you as you navigate life in this brave new world. Whether it's helping you find a new job, build your professional network, or develop new skills, we will ensure that you are an active and engaged member of our impressive community of alumni. Congratulations on your monumental achievement and raise high. GW's legacy and reputation has grown just as a result of who you are. And GW's reputation will grow even more based on all that you will accomplish. Congratulations again. We applaud you. Thank you. President LeBlanc. Thank you, Richard. Nelson A. Carbonell Jr. is not only an exceptional businessman and entrepreneur, he is also a tireless advocate for the George Washington University. His longtime commitment to the university, including his leadership of the Board of Trustees and extraordinary philanthropy, has been transformational, advancing research, academic excellence, and student success. A native of the Washington, D.C. area, Mr. Carbonell embodies the potential, promise, and impact of our university. He was awarded a full scholarship to study at GW, laying the groundwork for his future success and creating a lifelong commitment to his alma mater. He earned a bachelor's degree in electrical engineering with distinction from GW's School of Engineering and Applied Science in 1985. While at GW, he was an outstanding student, exhibiting both a deep intellect and extraordinary leadership skills. Mr. Carbonell started his first business, a software firm called Sisive, in the basement of his home, growing it to 500 employees and revenues of $50 million. In subsequent years, he founded Snowbird Capital and Nelson Carbonell & Associates to assist companies with strategy, financing, operations, and technology. Despite the rigors of leading multiple successful businesses, Mr. Carbonell always found time to give back to his alma mater. He joined the GW Board of Trustees in 2002 and served for 17 years, including six years as chair. During his tenure, he spearheaded the building of GW's state-of-the-art Science and Engineering Hall, jump-started the $1 billion Making History campaign, and oversaw the reorganization of the medical enterprise and the acquisition of the Corcoran School of the Arts and Design. Together with his wife, Michelle, 
Mr. Carbonell has helped make GW education possible for aspiring engineering students through the Nelson and Michelle Carbonell Engineering Endowed Scholarship. The Carbonells also established the Carbonell Family Professorship in Autism and Neurodevelopmental Disorders, and their contributions to athletics led to the creation of the Nelson and Michelle Carbonell Academic Center at the Charles E. Smith Center. Mr. Carbonell's service has been acknowledged with multiple awards, including GW's Distinguished Alumni Award and induction into the School of Engineering and Applied Science Hall of Fame. Through both his notable accomplishments as an entrepreneur and his dedicated leadership of this university, Mr. Carbonell embodies GW's ideals of professional achievement and contributions to the public good. Nelson A. Carbonell, Jr., in recognition of all the foregoing and by virtue of the authority granted to me by the Congress of the United States of America, vested in the Board of Trustees of the George Washington University, I hereby confer on you the degree of Doctor of Public Service, honors causa, and declare you fully entitled to all its rights, honors, privileges, and responsibilities. Congratulations. President LeBlanc walks off stage as photos of Nelson A. Carbonell Jr. are displayed. Carbonell at a lectern. Thank you, President LeBlanc. I'm deeply humbled and grateful to receive this honorary degree. First, I want to congratulate all of our graduates and your families. I'm delighted to have this opportunity to join you on this special day. As you head into your next journey, I am confident that you will find, as I did, that you now have the tools to make a difference in the world. When I came to GW as an undergraduate on a scholarship, I never could have imagined how the university would change me. My time in the engineering program, the friends I made in Foggy Bottom, and the relationships I developed truly changed my life. Being a part of the lifelong and worldwide GW community is an honor beyond any I could deserve. And my service as chair of the board was one of the most meaningful experiences of my professional life. I only hope I can give back to GW all that GW has given to me. And to make my alma mater proud, today and every day, I am proud to say I am an alumnus of the George Washington University. Congratulations, graduates. Raise high. President LeBlanc returns to the lectern. It is now my pleasure to introduce our commencement speaker, Secretary of the Smithsonian Institution, Lonnie G. Bunch III. Secretary Bunch is the first African American and first historian to lead the Smithsonian Institution, where he oversees 19 museums, 21 libraries, the National Zoo, and many research and education centers. Before leading the Smithsonian, Secretary Bunch founded the National Museum of African American History and Culture, curated award-winning exhibits, and was a GW Museum Studies and History professor. He served on the Committee for the Preservation of the White House, and he has received distinguished awards, including the Freedom Medal from the Roosevelt Institute and the National Equal Justice Award from the NAACP's Legal Defense Fund. Secretary Bunch's far-reaching contributions to our understanding of history and culture are unparalleled, and they are an inspiration to us all, especially as we mark our bicentennial year and reflect on our university community's role in documenting and preserving history and creating a better world. It is my distinct honor and privilege to welcome to our George Washington University bicentennial year commencement celebration, Lonnie G. Bunch III. LeBlanc looks back at the screen as the film begins. The Washington Monument, National Museum of African American History and Culture, and exterior shots of various Smithsonian museums and the National Mall. Lonnie Bunch speaking inside the Smithsonian Castle. Congratulations, 2021 graduating class of the George Washington University. Welcome from the Smithsonian. 
I'm so pleased to join you on this joyous occasion and to celebrate this milestone with you. As someone who spent a decade as a professor at GW, I am particularly moved to speak with you today. You're probably wondering why they chose me. Though I think it's because I am a graduate of a liberal arts college with a degree in history and a job. So don't worry, parents, your kids are gonna be okay. Graduates, this moment is a celebration of your hard work, diligence, and focus. You may not have known exactly what you wanted to do when you started this adventure. You still may not know, but your time at college will shape your life. I know it did for me. But you had to carry an added burden. You had to navigate the challenges of a college during a global pandemic that took a physical, emotional, and economic toll on all of us. Normally, you would have been seated on the folding chairs in the lush grass of the National Mall, the swath of public land stretching from the Capitol to the Lincoln Memorial. Working at the Smithsonian allows me to see the preparation every year, and it's a special honor, as only GW has its graduation on the Mall. Not only does it evoke fond memories of my time at GW, it fills me with hope for the future. I'm sorry we can't be in person this year, COVID has changed so much for all of us. And if the trauma of the pandemic wasn't enough, you also graduated at a time when the nation is shaped by racial and social injustice, by gun violence and a looming climate crisis. I wish I could assure you that it would get easier, that things will get better. Unfortunately, there's no guarantee of that. But moments of adversity are part of the human condition. What matters though, is how we respond to these moments. Adversity, like your education, can prepare you for the world, can instill empathy, can inspire action. So to do what is expected as a commencement speaker, in addition to keeping it brief, let me share with you some of the thoughts that have shaped my life. When I entered in college, I always believed that once I graduated, the clouds would part, my future would be clear in front of me, and that calm certainty would be my lot in life. Boy, was I wrong. Trust me when I tell you that your life will unfold in ways you can't conceive of. I never imagined working at the National Museum of American History or that I would leave that dream job. I didn't envision coming back to help the Smithsonian build the National Museum of African American History and Culture or how difficult that process would be. And I certainly never thought that one day I'd become secretary of the Smithsonian or that soon thereafter, the world's worst health crisis in a century would force us to close our museums to our visitors. You too will face surprising challenges and opportunities, disappointments and failure, and difficult choices. As your life unfolds, as the years zip by, you'll have to learn how to embrace ambiguity and change. Your lives will require a nimbleness that would have been unimaginable for your grandparents. Another thing I found is that the friends you made at GW and the professors that you've learned from will be with you the rest of your lives, whether in person or in spirit. Reach out to them, ask for help when you need it, because no one is an island. Life is hard enough to navigate without doing it alone, especially now we need to support and sustenance from family, friends, and sometimes even strangers. I found that out for myself when I was about 13 in the New Jersey town where I grew up, I was one of only a few African Americans. One day I was in an unfamiliar part of town playing baseball, the game I loved, when the neighborhood game unexpectedly turned to violence. For reasons I don't understand, a mob of white teenagers attacked me. They chased me with baseball bats and rocks. I can still remember the terror I felt all these years later. I ran until my legs gave out, collapsing on a front lawn of a random house. Just as the mob came up the driveway towards me with bad intentions, a little blonde girl came out of the house and said defiantly, this is my house, this is my property, get off my land. Not to me, to them. She fearlessly stood between us. She rescued me at that moment. And at that moment, I learned that help comes from unlikely places and that the generosity of spirit binds our humanity, irrespective of race, religion, or background. Though I never saw her again, she is indelibly seared in my memory. 
The incident changed me. Not only did it stimulate my interest in history, it helped me understand why race mattered so much, but it taught me never to generalize, never to stereotype people. It also taught me that no matter how fast, how smart, or how tough we are, there are times when we need to draw sustenance, inspiration, and guidance from others. Never be afraid to ask for help or to accept it when it's offered. That fierce little girl also set an example that I'm still inspired by. She showed the power of standing up for what is right. During my time in Chicago, I got to know Studs Terkel, the great oral historian who dedicated his life to giving voice to the voiceless, who never met a strike or a picket line he didn't like. In his later years, he said to me, you know, Lonnie, I can't hear anymore, I can't see much, I can't stand up. So all I ask you to do is to point me in the direction where I can do good. If the events of the past year have taught us anything, it's that this world needs more people who live by that ethos, people who point themselves in the direction of doing good, irrespective of personal cost. If you have that commitment to do good, you'll be able to handle the adversity, you'll be able to embrace the ambiguity and change that life is all about. So let me end as I began by congratulating this wonderful class of 2021. But let me also urge you to use this education, these skills, this opportunity you've been afforded as a chance to do good for others, to contribute to making America a better, kinder place, one that embodies its loftiest principles and lives up to its most cherished ideals. So on this day of celebrating your hard-won accomplishment, I wish you a life of joy, peace, surprise, and wonder. But most importantly, I wish you a life of purpose and doing good for others. Thank you. Good luck to all. And now, the presentation of the degree candidates and the conferral of degrees. Provost Blake. Now, the President of the University will confer the Associates, Bachelors, Masters, Doctoral, and Professional Degrees. I ask the deans to come forward in the order of the founding of their schools. All deans appear on screen, then come into focus as they speak. Paul Walbeck, Dean of the Columbian College of Arts and Sciences. President LeBlanc, it is with great pride that I present the candidates for degrees in the Columbian College of Arts and Sciences. Associate in Arts, Bachelor of Arts, Bachelor of Fine Arts, Bachelor of Science, Master of Arts, Master of Fine Arts, Master of Forensic Sciences, Master of Philosophy, Master of Psychology, Master of Public Administration, Master of Public Policy, Master of Science, Doctor of Philosophy, Doctor of Psychology. These candidates have completed all requirements for the degrees indicated, and the faculty asks that the degrees be conferred. Barbara L. Bass, Dean of the School of Medicine and Health Sciences. President LeBlanc, I am very pleased to present the candidates for degrees in the School of Medicine and Health Sciences. Associate in Science. Bachelor of Science in Health Sciences. Master of Science in Health Sciences. Doctor of Medicine. Doctor of Occupational Therapy. Doctor of Physical Therapy. Doctor of Philosophy, Translational Health Sciences. These candidates have completed all requirements for the degrees indicated, and the faculty asks that these degrees be conferred. Dana Bowen Matthew, Dean and Harold H. Green Professor of Law. President LeBlanc, it is my pleasure to present the candidates for the degrees in the law school. Masters of Studies in Law, Juris Doctor, Master of Laws, these candidates have completed all requirements the degrees indicated, and the faculty asks that the degrees be conferred. John Locke, Dean of the School of Engineering and Applied Science. President LeBlanc, I am pleased to present to you the candidates for degrees in the School of Engineering and Applied Science. Bachelor of Arts, Bachelor of Science, Master of Engineering, Master of Science, Applied Scientist, Engineer, Doctor of Engineering in Engineering Management, Doctor of Philosophy. These candidates have completed all requirements for the degrees indicated, and the faculty asks that the degrees be conferred. 
Michael J. Foyer, Dean of the Graduate School of Education and Human Development. President LeBlanc, I am proud to present the candidates for degrees in the globally preeminent Graduate School of Education and Human Development. Master of Arts in Education and Human Development. Master of Arts in Teaching. Master of Education. Education Specialist. Doctor of Education. Doctor of Philosophy. These candidates have completed all requirements for the degrees indicated, and the faculty asks that the degrees be conferred. Anuj Marotra, Dean of the School of Business. President LeBlanc. It is with great pleasure that I present the candidates for degrees in the School of Business. Bachelor of Accountancy, Bachelor of Business Administration, Bachelor of Science, Master in Management, Master of Accountancy, Master of Business Administration, Master of Human Resource Management, Master of Interdisciplinary Business Studies, Master of Science in Applied Finance. Master of Science in Business Analytics. Master of Science in Finance. Master of Science in Government Contracts. Master of Science in Information Systems Technology. Master of Science in International Business. Master of Science in Project Management. Master of Science in Sports Management. Master of Tourism Administration and Doctor of Philosophy. These candidates have completed all requirements for the degrees indicated, and the faculty asks that the degrees be conferred. Alyssa Ayers, Dean of the Elliott School of International Affairs. President LeBlanc, I am proud to present the candidates for degrees in the Elliott School of International Affairs. Bachelor of Arts, Bachelor of Science, Master of Arts, Master of International Policy and Practice, these candidates have completed all requirements for the degrees indicated, and the faculty asks that the degrees be conferred. Lynn R. Goldman, Dean of the Milken Institute, School of Public Health. President LeBlanc, I am delighted to present the candidates for degrees in the Milken Institute School of Public Health. Bachelor of Science, Master of Science, Master in Health Administration, Master of Public Health, Doctor of Philosophy, Doctor of Public Health. These dedicated public health leaders have completed all requirements for the degrees indicated, and the faculty asks that the degrees be conferred. Melissa Foyer, Dean of the College of Professional Studies. President LeBlanc, I am proud to present the candidates for degrees in the College of Professional Studies. Bachelor of Professional Studies. Master of Professional Studies. These candidates have completed all requirements for the degrees indicated, and the faculty asks that the degrees be conferred. Pamela R. Jeffries, Dean of the School of Nursing. President LeBlanc, I am proud to present the candidates for degrees in the School of Nursing. Bachelor of Science in Nursing, Master of Science in Nursing, Doctorate of Nursing Practice. These candidates have completed all the requirements for the degrees indicated, and the faculty asks that the degrees be conferred. Provost Blake. President LeBlanc, I present to you the candidates for the Associates, Bachelors, Masters, Doctoral, and Professional Degrees of the George Washington University. Thank you, Provost Blake. President LeBlanc. Graduates, you have earned this moment. You are prepared to succeed and to lead. May you carry your GW education and your commitment to serve others and to have a positive impact on our world with you every day. By virtue of the authority granted by the Congress of the United States of America, vested in the Board of Trustees of the George Washington University, I hereby confer your degrees and declare you fully entitled to all their rights, honors, privileges, and responsibilities. Congratulations to you all. President LeBlanc and the deans applaud. Mascot George his friends applaud. George moves his tassel from one side to the other. George and his friends dance, clap, and point with excitement. And now, a look at your only at GW memories. 
quick sequence photos of GW students and graduates. Mascot George is sitting on a couch wearing a graduation cap and mask. He picks up and looks at a photo of himself and his friends at GW. George stands up and we see Congratulations 2021 balloons on the wall behind him. He walks over to the window and peeks through the blinds to see the Washington Monument in the distance as music begins to play. We see George's feet as he walks down the hallway into an elevator and through another hallway. George opens the door and walks out of District House dressed in a cap and gown. He stretches his arms wide and walks jauntily down the stairs. George crosses the street, walks by students on bicycles, and into Kogan Plaza. He pumps his fists in the air as he approaches Trustee's Gate. We see the feet of people standing on grass and hands holding on to parts of a large banner that ripples in the breeze. We see a woman in a mask holding part of the banner with the Washington Monument behind her. George walks by the Washington Monument and then walks toward the many people holding the banner. As George watches, the students holding the banner begin to run apart, unfurling the banner on the National Mall. George kneels down with emotion. Students continue unfurling the banner on the mall with the Washington Monument in the distance. When they fully unfurl the banner, the camera flies over top, showing the banner has a GW logo at the top and the message, Congratulations Class of 2021. The school and college names are printed along the edge of the banner. A montage of several students are shown, each standing alone smiling. They appear happy and proud. George cheers as the students holding the banner shake its handles and make it ripple on the National Mall. Aerial shot of students with banner on the mall. The students, all wearing masks, hold the banner and wave at the camera. The camera pulls back so you can see the full banner with the Washington Monument in the distance. Congratulations, Class of 2021. Thank you for joining us.